He just woke up. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to talk about like a quote I read the other day. Uh, it said, people often overestimate what they can do in a day, but underestimate what they can do in a year. So, <laughs> that's, I'm still going to do that. So what does that mean? Like, So I think the best way to explain that is to explain how people think of that quote now. You know, how most people want everything now. They don't think about like the long run or what it takes to get there. So I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. So this is the example I wanted to show you. So I'm going to show you me about more so a year ago. So I'm going to go here and uh, this is the pic I wanted to show you. So this was me, um, not sure on the day, we'll look at that in a minute, but this is what I wanted to talk about here was my hair. So this was something that I did not want to live with. I was so embarrassed to to look like that and I wanted like an easy fix. You know, I looked up stuff like hair surgery or just stuff to get it to grow back in like, I don't know, uh, like, a, like at the most a month, at the most a month. So today is uh, Sunday, September the 8th, right? And this is what I look like right then. Let's find out when that was. That was Saturday, April 14th, 2018. So that was, this was me a little bit more than a year ago. So I guess, what's the point of this, right? What's, why am I talking about this? The point of this is based on that quote that I just said, is that nothing is gonna come in just a day or so. Like this, this kind of stuff. Try to bump it out here. Uh, you can't even see it in here. This kind of stuff takes a while. So how did I do this? Well, I saved up enough money and I did get that hair transplant. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll show you a little bit and how I did that. So obviously you could take like pills and stuff like that, which I did try. But in my experience, that stuff doesn't make you regrow it. It just simply stops it. Because when you're when you when that's happening to you, it's you're losing it. So you're like on a downward slope to just go and you know uh, Steve Austin 360 because he's bald. In case you don't get that reference, but um, and all it does is stop it. So to do this, to put back what you lost, you have to do other things. Now these things are stuff that you have to do not every day but whenever you're supposed to do it and that's where a lot of people fall short is they, they, they want those results fast they don't want to wait like a year or so or like six it doesn't work like if you do it straight for three months and then you stop doing it and then you you start doing it again it, you have to keep doing it when you're supposed to and it all falls down to how bad you want it you know if if it's serious you're gonna do it if it's not then just forget about it just shave it off just cut it off so it, 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 these things there's really just two two or three the third one's not really important but in my experience again because this is unlicensed advice I don't I am not a, I'm not a doctor well sometimes I'm a doctor but so this just try it I mean the, my thought process when I was going through this was I want it now but I don't have enough money for a hair transplant and you know, it, this other process that I'm about to show you, which again, it's real, real simple. It just worked. That's it. I'm not going to say it's a miracle, but it, it, I knew going into this, this was going to take a long time. But in my mind, I was like, I mean, what do I have to lose? Except the hair. So, I mean, I, I don't, I, there's nothing else I can do. So all the, the only thing I can do is just do this and then just be patient and wait to see how it works. So um, these two things are actually in the bathroom, which also I'm going to talk about all this in a minute too that goes back to how bad you want to do something so let's go look at uh, the two things I'm talking about let's try to just that was the worst transition ever but oh well all right so this first one we're gonna talk about is the shampoo so if you, this is something you want to do you can't be buying no like head and shoulders or any cheap shampoos like you know like like this stuff right here is not gonna cut it you know this is just like this is like the McDonald's of shampoos you need to get some, it's going to be more expensive, but it, it's what you got to do. So th this one I've been using for nearly a year now. It's Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. Uh, I'm a hater, so I'm not going to tell you where I, I got this, so just Google it. Uh, so this one, you know, I've never actually read the bottle, but this is the kind of stuff that is going to just make it look, like, I guess, thicker. Make it look like you have more hair than you really do. 
maybe, I don't know. So this is what I use. So again, this is just what worked for me. Maybe you could try it at the most. You're gonna be out $10 if this doesn't work, but you do have to keep consistently using it. So that's one. Now, I feel like what it really, really helped my, um, the hairline part, but the hairline part, because people, a lot of people say once that's gone, it's gone. That's not true, obviously in my case, but this is what I used. I saw my bed, I actually I had it in my, <clears throat> like my um, shower bag. So this one, this is the final thing that I used on my, uh, on the, my hairline was actually a derma roller. So this derma roller, some chicks use it to like hide the scars on their face, so they run it across their face. This one I used on my hairline. So this one, um, it has a bunch of like towel stuff on there because my dumbass would dry it with a towel, which don't do that. If you, cause you gotta clean this with like um, alcohol, just uh, shake it up and then let it dry inside the thing. Don't use a towel thing cause then you'll get all kinds of pelitos on there. So anyway, I would run that across my um, hairline like that. I'll just go so you do that and it doesn't really hurt. Like it, it stings a little bit cause it's like micro blades, but that basically is like, it's it's like waking it up. It's like, um, I don't know. I don't know the scientific thing of it. I just saw like some dude with long hair doing it on YouTube and I thought, ah, I guess I'll try it. And I did it. And then, you know, a year later, this is, this is what I got now. So um, that is the other thing. Now the third, and actually I thought of a fourth thing. The third thing, is I don't have it with me right now, but it is actually, uh, it's actually biotin. So there's this pills, not, I don't, I'm not too sure if that did a lot, because I did all of this at the same time, so it's hard to know what worked and what didn't. For all I know, the derma roller is what did it, or maybe the shampoo app, I don't know. But the biotin, I kind of feel like I could have done without that. Um, so, I don't know, biotin, it doesn't hurt, like I said, it doesn't hurt to try it, but I, that's another thing that I did. I, I took a pill, it was like a thousand milligrams, I think. I, I forget the exact term. But the fourth thing is find out what is causing you to lose your hair. So at the time, when I was losing that, I was in working out a lot, and I was taking a lot of creatine. Well, creatine actually uh, causes you to build up more DHT, which DHT is what's I'm gonna make your hair fall out um, so it caused me to do that so for me as much as creatine helped me get stronger um, look better it was causing me to lose my damn hair so I stopped taking it so in combination of that plus the shampoo plus the derma roller and everything that I was doing over a year this is where and I feel like just barely now now is like now it like where it's finally like where I had it when I was like 18 uh, so that's basically what I did. You know, again, you could try these things, but just know it's gonna take a long time. You can't just do it for like a month and then expect something to happen. You can't do it for six months and expect something to happen. And you have to be consistent. Like if, if you just do it for like two months, stop. It, it, all that stuff, It's you might as well not even try. And that just, that, that that's where that quote comes in, you know? A lot of people think that, oh, I'm gonna get all this done in one day, instead of thinking, imagine everything I could accomplish in a year. You know, whether it's the body you want, the job you want, um, build something, whatever it is, it's like you're not going to do it in over overnight. You know, not everybody wants that. Even I wanted that. It, it's going to take time. So just put that at minimum. Anything worth having is going to take a year. More important things are going to take longer than that. But you just have to have that mindset that it's going to take time. You know, I'm super fucking proud of this because it took me a long time to do it. And it, now it's here, you know. Now it seems like just yesterday when I was like looking on my phone going, how the fuck do I go back my hair? And now I'm here. So it, just accept that it's gonna be a long road, but you're gonna be proud of it. You're gonna be real proud of everything that you did to get to this point. So that's that. Now the other thing, this you probably don't recognize this bathroom. We are moving and it's been so hectic these past like two or three days or maybe even longer. It's been so hectic. I was thinking, our move-in date was going to originally be October, and I was thinking, man, I'm not going to make any videos, I'm not going to do any podcasts until I get done, but then I thought, if I'm really, same thing with here, if I'm really serious about this, if I'm really serious about doing this, doing the podcast, doing the, the vlogs, or not even that, my work ethic in general, if I put, make an excuse not to do the vlogs, if I make an excuse not to do the, the podcast just because, you know, I'm moving, then that's going to affect my work ethic 
I'm going to think just with anything else, whenever stuff gets hard, I'll just put off what I need to do until it gets easier. And that's not how, that's not how it works. You have, if you've got something to do, you've got to get it done no matter what happens. And this is where I was saying that if something is important to you, you'll find time to do it. You know, right now we don't need, we're living at um, Valerie's mom's house until we move in Monday, thankfully. Then they moved us up. But if I really wanted to, I could have said to myself, I'll make a vlog next week when we're in the apartment already. And I thought, no, this is when I usually do it and I should do it. So here's your vlog about my hair, and yeah, I mean, all our shit is in the living room. Most of our stuff is in the old house. I got stuff in my car, and I pumped out a, a vlog with Juan Vasquez. It was episode 21. If you haven't seen it yet, it's up right now. You could ask him. We were in a table in the middle of the room. It probably looked really ghetto, but the point is to just get it done. So that's all the preaching I got for today. Uh, the rest of this just be a normal day, which we do have a lot to do today. We got to figure out what kind of truck we're going to get for tomorrow to move the couch. But yeah, that was it for this vlog. So we'll see you guys next week and we'll do an apartment tour of what we moved into. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I can explain it more in detail and uh, shampoo I got at Walmart. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later.